Hey guys, so it's just gone 11 o'clock in the morning. It is Tuesday the 15th of February. We're past, just past halfway through the month. How are we already halfway through February? It is bonkers. Um, so obviously I didn't film yesterday because um, there's no previous footage to this. Um, I was at my boyfriend's for most of the day because he had booked the day off um, for a different reason because I was, wasn't was sure yet what time I was going to have to be at work um, but I didn't end up having to be at work until 6. Um, we did a special Valentine's evening opening at work, we don't normally open on Mondays um, so his original plans my boyfriend's original plans fell through, so we spent the day together. Um, so in the morning, we um, he'd forgotten that uh, they were having people come to replace their front windows. Um, so my boyfriend lives with, um, he bought a house with his brother and his brother's girlfriend moved in um, at the start of the pandemic. Um, so yeah, they had their windows, front windows replaced yesterday um, because the original ones were faulty um, or something, something had gone wrong with them, I'm not entirely sure. Um, so we just sort of lounged about and I ordered um, a new um, camera for filming. I've had an email from UPS saying that it's being delivered today between 9am and 1pm um, but when I go on the tracking info it just says that the delivery date will be provided as soon as possible label created so I don't know if it's actually going to be arriving today it was last updated at 6 this morning, so um, I mean I'm really hoping it is because I'm at work the rest of this week. I'm in on Friday morning and whatever, but yeah, um, I hope it is delivered today and before I go out, because I'm meant to be going to my dad's have lunch. Um, he's aiming to cook for one. So yeah, um, which means I've got to leave at 20 past 12 at the latest. Um, it's about a 40 minute drive to my dad's. Um, but yes, we had, um, I did that whilst we were sort of chilling um, at his and then we went to go outdoors so he could buy a couple bits for his wild camping trip on the Easter weekend and we went into the range and I bought these. Um, I don't know which bit's the front, I mean I think it's kind of the same. Um, so these are by the brand Deco Time, 100 twin markers including two stackable storage boxes. So I've not seen these in here in the range before. These are alcohol markers, they also had aqua markers, so like water, ones which you can mix water with. Um, they had some smaller sets of alcohol markers as well um, and weirdly the smaller set which was 60 had some colours which aren't in this big set um, but the smaller the set of 60 was 22.99 and this was twenty nine ninety nine, um, so I thought you know the Ohuhu markers that I bought off of Amazon a few years ago. Quite a few of those have dried up. Um, they're in a bag as well, and it's they're just they don't store neatly. Um, so I have still got some of those on my Christmas birthday wish list. Um, I think it's a set of 120, um, 
but depending how I get on with these ones, I might take them off. Um, because the 120 set of Ahuhu markers on Amazon when I looked yesterday was £55. Um, so yes, I've got these. Um, going to give them a go. Um, I need to find somewhere to put them though. Um, and also something which I quite liked about the when I was looking at the deco time pens is that all like all of the sets come with a storage tray which you can um, connect each of them together um, which is really handy so yes um, I may get some in some of the like aqua ones in the future we shall see um and then we got McDonald's because I was hungry and went for a walk um and then I had to come back home for work annoyingly and then this morning I have um before it started raining because it's I think raining right now um, or it has rained, I cleaned out the rabbits, I have just done the fish tank, um, I have made a birthday card for my mum and I filmed the process of that so that will be, will have been Friday's video, I've done my budgeting and I have listed an item on eBay um, and I'm actually about to I think probably edit the birthday card process video because wait oh what am I doing <sighs> then it saves me doing it on Friday morning before work so yes Right, um, I've not really got anything left to say, um, I've got a couple more days that I need to book off holiday wise, um, and 18th June, um, so so, yeah, um, yeah, nothing else to say really. I shall try and remember to film on Friday. Um, it's my mum's birthday tomorrow. Uh, poops. We were gonna do a meal on Sunday. Oh, for her. I'll have to talk to my brother about that this evening. <coughs> um, um, yeah um so i had completely forgotten about that i've made plans to um go to my boyfriend's on saturday evening to 
then with us going to Setford on Sunday, but I'm fairly sure my brother and I had made plans to do a meal for my mum on Sunday because her birthday is tomorrow. Obviously I'm at work, she's at work, my brother's at work. None of us will really, well, my brother will eat something in the evening, but I probably won't, my mum probably won't. So we we're gonna do something on Sunday, so. <laughs> I might have to change that in my planner. I shall confirm with my brother this evening. Right, anyway, I'm going to go. There is still no sign of this parcel, which is slightly irritating. I don't know which thing to trust. Do I trust the email or do I trust the tracking info on the website? What's the help thing? Um, right, I think I'll, I'll ask the little help bot. Anyway, I'm going to go. I shall see you guys, see you Friday, probably, most likely. Bye for now. Hey guys, my battery is running low so I'm going to be real quick. So my new cameras didn't arrive on Tuesday. They should be arriving today, hopefully. Before I go to work, I've got to go to work in 40 minutes. We are in the middle of, I can't remember the name of the storm, but it's like 80 mile an hour winds. And I'm just going to, you know, show you. That's what it's looking like. Like the, um, I have as a precaution, which I'm very glad I did do, took the tarpaulin, like the roof tarpaulin, off of the rabbit run because yesterday I already had to push the roof back down and I scratched myself, so I didn't fancy doing that again. Um, I have actually had a bit of a tidy up of my craft stuff. So on Sunday my boyfriend and I are probably going down to Ikea so I can get a few bits not just for my craft stuff but for my bedroom as well. Um, I am looking at the window and the uh, lamp post sort of almost like sort of di diagonally opposite is wobbling an awful lot. I walk to work um, but actually I'd rather walk than drive with how lightweight my car is. Um, so yes. Anyway, my cameras should, were are arriving between 9am and 1pm. Thanks UPS delivery. Can't you give a more specific time slot? Like I get, obviously, you know, they don't know how long traffic and everything. But that is, like, that's half the day. Um, anyway, I better go because camera is flashing. Um, I shall see you guys later, probably next week. Bye for now. Hey guys, so, um, it is 1.36. Um, I had a text at, like, I don't know what time it was, um, from the head chef about like 12.25 I think um, asking if I could come in at 6 instead of my normal time of 1 because you know it's pretty empty down there because of the storm and I was like that's absolutely fine <laughs> because I hopefully by then it will have died down um, So, yes, uh, anyway, my parcel has just arrived. I mean, the box is, is huge. <laughs> As you can see, it is absolutely huge. Um, so let's get this open. I can't really park you anywhere where you're going to be able to see. That, oh yay, creative me. Um, if my phone pings, it's 
either my boyfriend or the um, we've got a couple of sort of uh, motion cameras in the house for spying on the dog, which I set up. Um, so it could be those. So here's the big box with more boxes. <laughs> okay. Um, so I ordered an extra battery for um, this will fit both um, my 1200D and new one which is 2000D which is here so I don't think I've actually said so obviously if you know how expensive camera equipment is you can probably roughly work out how much this costs and um, yes I know my parcel was delivered thank you so funnily enough though the big DSLR was less expensive than what will be um, that's kind of cool what will be my new filming camera for YouTube and yeah um, for these videos good, good packaging um, so I did actually purchase these items with PayPal credit um, so because it was um, over a thousand pounds so I did use PayPal credit it's the first time I've used it um, so if you have any questions about it probably don't ask me um, but I worked out that because on the Canon website they had a thing of 0% um, um, interest for 12 months if you pay it off in those 12 months so I worked out that I can it's going to be I think about £104 a month for 12 months to pay this off and I worked out that I can afford that pretty comfortably so I'll do that because I've been wanting wanting a second DSLR body for years and I've just always been like when I've had the money oh I should save this um, so that is what I have done um, so yes um, I have bought purchased these items on credit I have not paid cash out for these outright, just a little disclaimer there. Um, so I chose for the smaller camera, which is the EOS M50 Mark II, um, because I did want something with an interchangeable lens as well, just in case I want to use it for taking photos, you never know. Um, so that's the camera I chose, and I chose a package, oops, I can pick you up again now which included a spare battery so this is the a different kind of battery to the other one which I purchased so one of these batteries by itself is about around the 50 pound mark um, for a you can get them on um, Amazon I do have one for my DSLR that one 1200d on which I bought off of Amazon um, but it's not a genuine one so a genuine one is about 50 pounds um, and the uh, fake one that I have it doesn't hold its charge very well anymore um, I have had it a couple years it also included an SD card which I think is I heard rattling around in here Possibly, hopefully. Yep, so it's included a Ultima Pro. Never heard of that brand. Um, it's a pretty decent SD card, 32 gigabytes. That's not, that's enough to get started with at least. Um, and then it also included a handy backpack. Um, so I do have a camera bag which is a satchel which if you're out and about oops, all day long walking around and stuff 
is not very comfortable so yes I now have a camera backpack which I can probably fit like my wallet and my ID and stuff in as well so this will be really handy for when my boyfriend and I go on our holiday to the new forest so I think I'm gonna put because that is a really good solid cardboard box I'm gonna collapse that and put it in the garage this one that might be good for some crafty things so I'm gonna collapse that and add it to my crafty heap and I'm gonna set all this up and have a play or oh, actually do I have a third I think I have a third strap somewhere where's my photography box here's my photography box yes I've got a third comfy neoprene strap which is going to go on this new DSLR um, the small one has come with a strap by the looks of things um, so I will put that on but I don't know how much I'm going to use a strap so yes I'm going to have a play um, but I think I'm going to use that as a reward because I've got laundry which I still need to put away upstairs so I'm gonna do that first <laughs> so yay I am so happy also so relieved that I didn't have to walk down to work in this weather um because it's also raining as well um so the next time hopefully that I speak to you it will be with the new camera and hopefully you will be able to see a difference in the quality especially with how expensive it was um but yes um right i need to make sure that i don't get these batteries confused um so yes so happy next big expense then is replacing my laptop Having had discussions with my boyfriend, because he's kind of tech savvy, um, he's not the tech savviest, he admits, but he knows a heck of a lot more than I do. He knows enough to build a computer, because he built his own computer. Um, and so yes, next thing is replacing my laptop, and I'm probably going to go for a desktop, which he said he can build for me, I've just got to buy the parts. Um, but that is needs a bit more working out with once I've got the new desk that I'm going to be getting which you shall see all of that set up next week probably um, I don't know if I actually set those things up on Sunday after we get back um, or if I'll leave it until Monday um, I might do it Sunday because then um, my boyfriend and I can have discussions and I also have an Amazon order which should be arriving on Sunday which has a um, thing for the fish tank it's got a um, CO2 booster for the fish tank because I need that um, actually that's a point um, okay UPS emails can go I've not had a dispatched Uh, okay. Um, I've obviously been a bit delayed because of the storm. Um, for some reason, yeah, my Amazon like dispatch emails keep going into my junk, and it's really annoying because I keep missing them. Oh right, okay. It's just one of the three items I ordered. The other two better get dispatched because I was promised delivery by Sunday. Right. Anyway, I am going to go. I have been rambling on long enough. I'm also thinking of like some... Uh, I think I said this in my last vlog, like things which I can do on the side. I've worked out how much I want to be earning from that on the side before I can commit full time to that um just 
financially and everything but then obviously if I'm earning that amount I need to know about tax returns and looking into pension because where being employed you get a workplace pension being self-employed I need to do some research on that I doubt you get a workplace pension if you're self-employed but would I be able to pay into the same pension pot so it's all in one place or would I have to start a new pension? These are things I need to work out. Obviously, I'm nowhere near that point yet. Um, but I'm thinking of setting up a Patreon. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do on that sort of as like the bonuses. Um, I've got a list of a few, a short list of a few ideas. Um, but anyway. I'm going to go put my podcast back on. I'm listening, binging my way through the Hannah Witten Doing It podcasts. Very interesting. Would highly recommend them too. If you're interested in bodies and sex and e equality, I suppose, as well. Um, she, yeah, she talk, does interviews with lots of interesting people and it is fascinating learning a lot like basically most of what i know about you know the female body um my body i suppose is because of stuff that i have found out either through youtube um yeah well basically youtube which has led to some book recommendations which yeah anyway i am in a much better mood i was I've been in an awful mood for yesterday especially but Wednesday as well because time of the month came and visited me. I really should stop saying that. Like I realised the other day I like I said time I s still say time of the month to my mum and it's like she she's a woman she knows what it is. She's been through all this she like but it's just yeah. Um, I don't think around like my dad and my brothers, I don't even mention it. Like, if I say I'm having cramps, like, and my brother quite often goes, I'll eat some fruit, because he's thinking it's, you know, digest digestive cramps. And then I, my mum and I both go, it's not those sorts of cramps. But we don't, we don't say more than that, which is ridiculous. Like, he's, you know, he's been with been with women um yeah anyway do i say period to my boyfriend i think i do say period to my boyfriend i didn't when i texted him on wednesday when he asked me how i was i was like period starting feeling a bit hormonal because you know hormones anyway uh yeah <sighs> Anyway, uh, sorry, getting distracted by my nice shiny new cameras. So actually, that's something I want to mention. With this one, the um, new DSLR I got, I didn't buy a lens because I don't need a lens. Um, and also it was like 120 extra quid with a lens. So yes, I opted not to get a lens. They have made their neck straps much thinner than they used to be. Because the one which came with that DSLR is probably like that much fatter. But anyway, I won't be using this for this camera. I'm going to be using this nice comfy neoprene one. Which also has pockets for storing extra extra things. So batteries, SD cards, etc. Um, these came off of Amazon. Um, I've got three of them now because I've got one on my SLR film camera which I don't use as often as I should. I still need to read the manual for that actually. Um, so yes. Anyway, stop getting distracted Sarah. You've got laundry to go put away which has been there for about a month. Yes, I am that bad about putting away my laundry. Um, yes, anyway. Don't know if I shall film anymore today. Um, well, I might film on Sunday, depending. Um, 
I've not actually, not yet had that conversation with my boyfriend about whether he's comfortable being on camera. Um, so that needs to happen, probably sooner rather than later, because if he is, then I might film some, not all, of our new forest holiday. Um, so, yes, we shall see. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, I shall see you guys at some point in the near future with hopefully a visibly better quality footage. <laughs>